Hello everyone, Iron Wolfman here. Uh, doing a quick response to someone's request. Uh, he simply wanted to know what the best armor set is for early high rank. Um, in this video, I'm just going to talk about which armor sets have the best defense for their rarity. So, the best way to do that is, or the best way to, to compare is not by looking at the total set, uh, because some of the weapons have defense. Uh, it's actually to look at the armor piece itself. So as you can see, um, the head and the body have the same defense stat, so we only really need to look at one. So if we look at the highest, I believe Radoban is the highest at 38. Okay, here we go. Yep. Radoban is the highest at 38, the next is 36 with uh, Rathian and Paolumu. But uh, 38 is the highest for rarity 5. And that is the Radoban set, which is the one I'm wearing right now. The next one for the rarity 6 is actually Diablos. Here you go. Not to mention that his weapon also has a defense boost. But as you can see, he's the only one that has a high defense stat anyway. So at 46. And then if we take a look at the rarity 7, um, if you take a look, the highest is actually Basil Goose at 50. If you had the full set with Uragon, your weapon would give you more defense, but uh, we're only looking at the armor itself. So if we take a look at the last rarity, rarity 8, we can see that all the Elder Dragons have 56, and Nurg is at lowest at 54, but then Xenojiva is at 60. So based on pure defense, Xenojiva has the highest stat overall. So I guess as you progress through high rank, you can just pick the, the specific ones uh, based on what you're able to fight well. Uh, thankfully, you only need one, one item for each piece, so it's rather easy to make. Now, onto the weapons. So the weapons are much more important in terms of how you want your palico to be. Um, since the armor is mostly just cosmetics, you mostly should be wor you mostly should be wor worried about what your palico is uh, actually doing against the monster in terms of damage. So, um, based on just looking at the weapons, no other uh, special gear, then we will take a look at the highest damage overall for. Uh, for each rarity, and then we'll take a look at uh, the secondary effects, which are more important. So if we take a look, as we scroll down, we can see that the highest damage overall is still Rattleban, uh with 48, and it causes sleep, and then with the feline rapier from Rathian as the second, so 46. Then for rarity 6, the highest is 60, with negative affinity from the Diablos. The next one is Uragon at 55. Then the next one after that is Nurg, in terms of raw damage at 70. But if we take a look at the other ones, we have much higher elements uh, that will actually come into great importance in just a second. So the next thing to look at is your secondary effect. And when you're using a palico, you actually want them to be using status damage. So either poison or sleep or paralysis. I'd say this one alone is probably the best palico weapon simply because you're gonna proc that paralysis and it will help you out 
the next one would be the Rattleban. Uh, if you have... Oh, that's so cool! If you have the Rattleban weapon, it becomes a tail. But then if you just have a normal... Oh my god, that's so cool. That's pretty... That's sick. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so if you have the Rattleban one, you can put them to sleep, and then sleep bomb them for high amounts of damage. Uh, the next one would be Poison from Rathian. Where'd it go? Yeah, Rathian. It's really good for Poison. Um, and those are the ones that I use. I don't use any of the other ones. Uh, in terms of Blast, I guess the... Uh, basil, basil would be the best because it has 40 instead of 25. Oh, sorry. Never mind. Um, Kaiser would be better because of 45. But uh, in reality, I think the ones you should just be focusing on are either the Rathian, Rattoban, or the Ladybug, uh, Kitty of the Valley Rod. <laughs> So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, we were just taking a look at the equipment that you can make from the forge. Uh, so I guess to sum it up, you want to make the Rattoban armor and the Ladybug weapon, and you can pretty much use that throughout the uh, all of high rank. Um, and then if you really want to make different armor sets, then you can make the Diablos and the Aragon. Oh, sorry, Diablos and the Basil Goose, and then any of these Elder Dragon armor sets. Yep, so that's basically it for today. Uh, if you liked the video, please feel free to leave a like. If you have any comments uh, or suggestions, please leave them down below. Uh, I will be taking your suggestions into account in order to make uh, Monster Hunter content that caters to you guys. So, um... Yeah, if you had, if you liked the video, feel free to leave a like, comment, if you feel like you need to leave a comment, or you want to leave a comment, and or subscribe if you uh, want to see any more of my content. Um, so, thank you for watching, and have a good day.